Frontline anti-corruption civil society organizations have again advised the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission to toe the path of the rule of law and not continue to give credence to the impression that its anti-corruption mandate is being politicized by some interests whose intentions are neither patriotic nor altruistic. Chairman Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Kakol, Debo Adenirol, who led other CSOs at a press conference in Lagos on Tuesday, said what is happening currently in the ongoing controversy surrounding the Commission's handling of its allegations against the immediate past governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello, connotes nothing but that. They also noted that with the way the AFCC had handled the matter, especially the threats from the lawyers and the Commission's boss, it was justifiable to say that Yaya Bello's life might not be safe in the custody of the EFCC as being expressed by his supporters. With the way the Commission has handled the Yaya Bello's case thus far, especially the gestible style employed and the threats of military invasion to arrest him, we advise that caution be applied so that credence is not given to the insinuation in certain quarters that some forces are after his life, that is the life of Yaya Bello at all costs and are afraid that he might not even be safe in EFCC's custody. This they noted that the principle of justice presupposes that its scales are always balanced and it is blind to personality, creed, gender, race, noting that what had led to the overheating of the polity was a simple factor, unwillingness of the EFCC to obey a court and follow the due process of law. The activists maintain that due process of law must be followed to the letter and unconditionally in the current matter between the EFCC and the immediate past governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello. Every citizen is equal before the law and must be seen to be treated equally. In the current matter between the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, and the immediate governor of, the, of Kogi State, Alaji Yabelo. Our position remains that the due process or processes of law must be followed to the letter and unconditionally. But the question we still remains a subject of legal interrogation whether charges are filed against a subsequent court order can stand the test of legal scrutiny. The school that takes itself already filed the suit against the court, the date has been given for years. I will we believe so much that the court is going to be the eventual arbitrator in this matter. Not even the EFCC or the suspect as the case may be will determine who is right or not in this matter. We want to say that the court knows what to do. The court will ensure that it is of course, that the suspect, as the case is, and the commission present themselves before the courts whenever they are required to do so. Any error of commission or commission that may lead to the death of this man in the EFCC custody, as you know, may cause terribly unintended consequences, particularly in a volatile society that we live in today. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.